Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here in. I am in my hotel room and while waiting for checkout, I'm just gonna quickly do a what's in my travel carry on bag. I'll let you know the documents that you will need if you also want to travel here. So anyway, <laughs> napakahirap ng situation ko ngayon para maabot ko yung camera. I'm sitting down on four pillows. Anyway, we are in the hotel here in San Francisco. Biglaan lang to na ito kami natulog. I just arrived probably two or three days ago. So yun pa rin yun naman. Ang dami nag-request ng what's in my hand carry. Eh, meron akong ganon with my Neverfull. So ilalay ko na lang yung link somewhere here. Medyo same. Baka may counting difference. And at the same time, I would probably let you guys know also all of the documents that you need because I have a lot So just to get it out there while I'm waiting for my checkout. Alright, the things that you need to bring for boarding a flight to the US. This is for the US lang, so I don't know. And baka, syempre, may at maya, baka mag -iba -iba. Ang dami ko ding mga friends na tinatanong habang papalapit ng papalapit yung flight ko, yung mga nakaalis na. So I think these are the requirements since December. Yun yung latest na alis ng friend ko na nakausap. So of course, your passport, your round trip ticket. And then, yung vaccination card, ang sabi nila sa akin, dapat daw vaccination certificate. So doon ako nagpanik kasi 3 days before my flight, doon ko lang nalaman na kailangan vaccination certificate. So you're just gonna go to vaccert.doa .gov.ph. Alay ko na lang din sa link. And then, i-input mo lang dun yung vaccination details mo sa vax card mo. Tapos, from there, you will find out if naka-encode na ba yung details mo or not. So, apparently for me, hindi pa. Matagal nga daw yung encoding ng mga LGUs natin. So, what I did, I asked some friends na taga-LGU. Kaso yun nga, medyo natotoxic ko din sila. Nahihiya din ako. So, merong hotline dun sa vax cert na website. Pwede nyo tawagan yun. Actually, kapag ka, nag-fill up ka pa lang ng form, meron ng part doon where it says, do you have like a flight soon? Something like that. I-upload mo yung proof of your flight. Kala ko effective yun kasi sabi, parang i-prioritize kapag may ganun. Pero hindi. <laughs> so, the day of my flight, wala pa rin ako nagirinig from them. That's why I called the hotline. Kasi papa-expedite nila. Parang she was very helpful na wag ako mag-worry kasi gagawa ng paraan yan. Although, at the end of the day, it will still rely on your LGU. Pero I think wala pa naman silang hindi na gagawa ng paraan pag gaganon. So yeah, you just upload it there. Pero kung naka-upload naman na doon, mabilis lang. Like, i-request mo lang. Yun agad yung QR code. I-download mo lang, tapos i-print mo, ganyan. Or you can save it on your phone. Since parang starting pa lang tong vaccination certificate program kinesu, hindi siya require sa local flights. Pero pag mga OFW daw, tsaka international, kailangan talaga siya. Kasi parang ito lang yung recognized worldwide na vaccination proof. But pagdating ko ng airport, hindi siya hinahanap. Gabi lang, vaccination card. So, binigay ko. Miss, vax certificate. Ayaw mo. Hindi naman. Okay na to. <laughs> so, yeah. Apparently, pwede pa yung vaccination card. Although, yun ay baka dahil super fresh pa nga ng system. So, I don't know when you guys leave. I think, just make sure na meron na lang. Mas maganda naman na meron kesa wala. Third thing that you need is a negative certificate. Either RT-PCR or antigen. Yung iba kasi nalilito din if 24 hours before your flight, hindi pala siya ganun. At least one calendar day before your flight. Kasi nalilito siya yung flight mo anytime ng one day ka magpa-test. Carry bell. So yun, antigen is allowed. And then, CDC attestation letter. Ilalay ko din yung link sa baba. Pinagint ko to, pero pagdating ko ng airport, meron na rin. <laughs> Binibigay din siya. But again, mas maganda naman na prepared kayo. Ayan, it would look like this. Kayo, kayo na bahala if gusto nyo mag-print din or asahan nyo yung nasa airport. Actually, yun lang. But, some of my friends mentioned na kailangan din ng travel insurance. So, ako kasi papunta ko ng Bora Bora. So, meron akong travel insurance. And, pinakover ko yun tong US trip ko. Pagdating ng boarding, tatanungin ka lang pag chinect nila. Meron naman po kayong travel insurance. If you say yes, hindi, hindi nila hinahanap. Tinatanong lang. So, I guess, mag-yes na lang kayo. <laughs> or, better then Of course naman kasi for your own safety then Since may COVID ngayon. Better. Mura lang naman yung travel insurance. I'm gonna put the full list as well sa description box. In case may na-miss ako. So, let's just quickly show you what's in my bag. Since nandito nga kami sa hotel, nagdala ko to kasi ito din yung daladala ko pag kailangan ko umalis ng bahay at hindi ako doon matutulog. Kaya nandito pa silang lahat. But I also have a carry-on luggage 
nandun siya sa bahay. So, pag-uwi namin mamaya, papakita ko din sa inyo quickly kung anong laman nun. But for now, while we're waiting, I'm gonna show you what's inside this book tote. This used to be the small size, but now this is the medium size of Dior. Of course, my lightweight na flask. Parang helpful ito kasi first time kong mag-travel nang may ganito na ako. Laging yung mabibigat yung dala ko before. My salamin. Tissue. Dito yung pera kong bao na USD. Ayan, sa stasher. Para madali siyang ma-disinfect. And then another stasher. This is the stasher go. Yun, nakikita nyo natin lagi eh, my essentials. Sanitizer, Lucas Papaw, my lip tint, salamin. And of course, don't forget ha, your own ball pen. Tsaka nandito yun yung susi ng luggage ko. My key clay. Actually, ito ay nakalagay din dun sa stasher go. Medyo nagulo na nga siya kasi 3 days na ako dito. Yung laman nito, hindi ko naiisa-isahin kasi sa lahat ata ng bag vlogs ko or what's in my bag videos, nandun to. So, alam nyo na yung mga laman nito. Ang dinagdag ko lang dito for this trip. Of course, hindi yung toothbrush ko. And then, my matumadj na tuchang stick. Ayan. Link below. Pantanggal na mga tuchang. And then I also have here my oils. Ito lang yung dinala kong oils kasi lahat ng bahay na pupuntahan ko dito, oil volario. So I don't need to worry about bringing my oils. Ito lang yung mga dinala ko for the airplane. So M grain, deep relief and peppermint. I have here my mask air. Pero hindi ito yung gamit ko sa airport. Nakita nyo naman. Meron ako ditong mask na extra lalagyan. Ayan. So ito yung pang ilalim ko sa airport. And then yung... N94 sa ibabaw. The mask holder and the mask ang manapot the link. And I'm on this. Lalaki. Anyway, ayun. Tapos, I have... Nagamit ko na, pero dalawa yung dala kong ganito. Kaya siguro meron pa. Yung hydrogel na eye mask. And then, itong face mask. So, nagdala ko ng mga moisturizing na mask. Kasi, di ba, very, very dehydrating for the skin. Yung pressure sa loob ng airplane. Kaya, lagi ako nag-10 step skin care. Kahit anong mangyari. Kapag lalo pag long haul flight. Favorite ko to for that. Kasi, sobrang moisturizing. Ang daming serum na laman. And then, this one is my mga tech stuff. Kasama yung camera ko, tsaka yung mic. May ningsha that I'm gonna drink now. Actually, may ningsha din ako nung time na yun. Pero nainom ko na. This is my baon for today. Oh, of course, my Didash. Can't live without it every single day. And this one I bought from Christmas pa ata. Marami akong unopened books pa kasi nga super busy sa Pilipinas. Sabi nga ni Don, anong ginagawa mo kapag sobrang tagal mo nagiintay sa airport mag-isa? Sabi ko, in yung perfect time for me to read. Kasi dun lang yung alam ko na magbabakasyon na ako. So, walang mga kailangan gawin. Tapos, ang daming dead time. So, that's a perfect time to read the book. At saka sa airplane. Laptop. Yung saktong-sakto ito dito. Kaya, tantawa ako. Okay. Saktong-sakto. This is a MacBook Air 13 inches. Of course, my passport. And then, ito, ito. The vaccination certificate would look like this. So, take it. And my medical certificate. If taga-south kayo dito, ako sa Swab Hub. Nasa parking lot lang siya ng South Mall. And this is the vaccination certificate. Ay, ito ko pala. Marami kasi kaming ganito because my mom is a nurse. My kuya is a doctor. We have antigen tests. Para pagdating, test agad. Since layas ng layas. So, yun. So, that is it. That is inside my book tote. Later, pag-uwi, pakita ko sa inyo yung laman ng aking maleta na bitbit ko din sa airplane as a carry-on. Hi guys! I am back home. So, ito. Sabi ko sa inyo kanina. This is my carry-on na luggage. So, let me just show you what's inside. Magkada lang kayo ng hand carry. Pwedeng isang luggage or kung malaki yung backpack nyo. And then, isang handbag technically. Kaya, ito yung pinaka handbag ko, di ba? Pero pinupuno ko pa din. <laughs> the key is, dapat hindi halata na mabigat para hindi nila titimbangin. <laughs> So anyway, this is what's inside. All of my expensive essentials in this carry-on. Hindi ko na siya chine-check in. Na-trauma na ako because before I lost my Louis Vuitton Felici sa airport. Kasi chine-check in ko. So ever since that happened, may doon the builder din dito guys. <laughs> so ever since that happened, di na ako nag-check in ng mga valuables kasi na-trauma ako. Kez. So anyway, I brought my Teddy Blake na handbag. And then I brought my Chanel na Diane. Diana. Yung dalawa lang yung dala ko na pang rampa. I think they're gonna match all of the outfits that I brought. Tatawa kayo. I also brought 
Lagi niya ito nakikita sa stories ko na nasa Pilipinas ako, diba? Sabi ko sa inyo eh, sobrang love na love ko siya that I brought it here. This one is my Cuve na UVC disinfecting box. Super gaan lang naman kasi niya. Tapos kasha siya dito. So, dinala ko kasi nga, of course, medyo praning pa din. Nandito sa US, hindi naman na masyadong talamak yung nagmamas. Parang normal life dito. So, as a praning girl with trust issues kasi sa Pilipinas galing, dinala ko to dahil alam ko na magagagala kami ng magagagala. So, this is very important for me dahil while we are making gala, I would also always use my reusable na mask air. Para every time na uuwi, I can disinfect it with this one. And syempre yung mga phones. Actually, TV sa ako dito two days. Ayun, parang minsan nakakalimutan ko na may COVID. So, buti na lang. Dinala ko to. I will be disinfecting everything here. Every time we would come home from a ganap outside. And eventually, makakasama ko rin yung mga pamangkin ko. Hindi din sila masyado naglalabas na nagala before so now that we're all together we're gonna have a few ganaps and it's a little bit scary outside so just to be sure like yung mga phone and like wallet yung mask yan perfect talaga tong UVC na disinfection box USB type siya so sa car dadalhin ko din to eh lalo kapag kasama namin yung mga pamangkin ko so every time we can disinfect or whatever stuff na maliliit basta lahat ng kasha dito pwedeng i-disinfect and the good thing about this is apat nga yung UVC LED bulbs niya so ganun ka powerful yung pag disinfect niya and super safe kasi basta iangat siya ng kunwari mga baget si kunwari iangat nila magsa-stop naman agad yung UV lights and it comes with a mask holder nga at saka ito so kung mga random small things ito yung gagamitin niyo pagka mask niyo i-disinfect niyo then just change it like that super <laughs> love na love ko to alam mo kasi ang ate ko meron siyang eco mom so even before covid happened lahat din disinfect niya doon tas kami pag nandoon kami sa kanila din disinfect namin yung mga phone namin accessories mga makeup brushes alahas ganyan so now at least meron ako ng my own na pwede ko bitbitin everywhere and kahit ano pwedeng i-disinfect palagi so, I'm so happy with this. Mga ROI ko na talaga kasi gamit na gamit siya doon nasa Pilipinas. And nakakating pa siya ng America, guys. Lalagay ko yung link sa description box if you want it. And I think may voucher code ako for that. And, wait, there's more. <laughs> Dinala ko din to. <laughs> Ayan, same brand sila. Kent Ozone Air Disinfectant. So, since maliit lang siya, super handy. It's an air purifier. Dinala ko din to because nakita ko na meron siyang car plug. So I was thinking that every time nga, we're gonna have ganaps. I mean, we have the diffuser, diffusing thieves all the time na nasa car kami. But iba pa rin kapag ka may purifier ka. Hindi sila pwedeng sabay gagamitin. So pwedeng mag-purify ka muna ng air and then tsaka gumamit ng diffuser to diffuse the oils. Perfect siya for small spaces. So kunwari man na mag-check in kami sa hotels, pwede ko tong i-on to purify the air. Hindi lang yung mga virus and bacteria sa air yung na-purify niya. It can also remove yung mga stench. Kunwari may mga nag-smoke, ganyan. So technically, it can really purify the air anywhere we go. Talagang may iba-ibang kinds of air pollution. The chemicals that they use sa mga pintura, sa mga ginagamit na pang linis, tapos kapag may nagsasmoke nga, tapos may virus pa. Yeah, as a friending girl talaga, sobrang kailangan, kailangan ko to. Kaya sobrang happy ko kasi maliit lang siya and super handy. And ang gaan lang niya na daladala ko nga siya sa hand carry. This is a custom-made gadget which guards its user from harmful and highly contagious airborne diseases like SARS, H1N1, etc. Of course, COVID. It discharges the powerful ozone gas for eradicating all forms of the air pollution in the room. So, the benefits nito, it deodorizes, it's healthy because it oxidizes and decomposes formaldehyde for enhancing the user's health. So, if hindi nyo alam, yung mga pintura ng room, may mga formaldehyde yan, yung mga chemicals na ginagamit pang linis, check nyo lahat yun. Sobrang maraming pathogen at kung ano-anong bad bacteria na nalalanghap nyo on a daily basis. So, this is perfect. And it actually disinfects as well. It accurately eliminates bacteria from the room's atmosphere. Para lang siyang magic 8-ball, di ba? Magiging malinis ba ang air ko? Yes. <laughs> Kaya super happy with this one. Especially ngayon na lumuluwag na dyan din sa Pilipinas. Level 1 na sa Manila. And sobrang sunod-sunod na yung mga ganap natin. Nagta-travel na ulit tayo. ba? So I think these two 
is one thing that you guys should consider getting if maglalabas na kayo and maggagala na ulit dahil they are really really perfect. Anyway, I'm just gonna put the link of them in the description box. Kasi the last time I na kung voucher na 500 pesos off for the Kumares. We'll see if we still have at this point pag lumabas tong vlog na to and basta ilalagay ko lang lahat sa baba. Okay? Meron din pala siyang yung pang room na socket. Pero I think mas magagamit ko to. And then I have my tripod, my glasses are here. Isa lang ang nadala ko. So, may laman ba? Hindi <laughs> ko man lang chinik. I brought my gentle monster. And then, this is my makeup. Yung laman nito, yun din yung mga ginamit ko dun sa recent ko na I tried new makeup stuff. Tapos yung mga dati ko ng favorites. My jewelry box. I think I brought five rings, three pairs of earrings. Dala lang ako ng konti. Because gold is life. <laughs> I also have here... My skincare. Konting-konti lang kasi mamimili din ako dito. Every time mupunta ako dito, kung ano nung tinatry ko din. So, ang toner na dala ko is the Snail White Glow Potion. AHA BHA Toner. First time ko din gagamitin to kasi ma-oily siya. Hindi man oily, but hindi siya matte finish. So, ayoko pa siya na try sa Pilipinas. Kaya dito ko siya din nala. Snail White Beauty Glow Drops for an instant dewy glow. Ginagamit ko to dito sa morning before my makeup to give you that dewy glow. As usual, my purity na may simple one-step facial cleanser. Alam nyo naman, ito talaga gamit ko. Every single time I travel for almost 7-8 years na, it's the best cleanser ever. And then I have my face serum that I made. This has frankincense, lavender, and copaiba topped with Trilogy na rosehip oil. Siyempre, mag-oil tayo ng bonggang bongga dito dahil nasa Amerika tayo. Kailangan talaga ng all the moisture. And then I brought the sunflower premium beauty oil by Human Nature. Usually, pag nandito ako, bukod sa lotion, nagbabody oil talaga ako para hindi tayo dry. So, I really, really love lathering my body with oils. Pag nandito ako. So, yun. Yun yung skincare na dala ko. I also brought my Oran White for Bora Bora. Ano ka ba? Wala na ata. Oh, wait. Hold on. So, here, I just have yung mga mask. My mask air na gray for my gray outfits. And then I have, ito pinakita ko na to sa inyo dun sa haul. Yung mga K K94 ko na masks from Fresh Health Lab. So, beige and black. Maraming beses kasi ako sasakay ng airplane sa buong March na to. So, ito yung gagamitin ko. Ayoko na reusable para tapon na kasi I think sobrang dumi sa airport. So, yeah. I bought 8 pieces of these. Apat na beige and apat na black. And then I brought a couple of masks. Yung papagandang masks. Socks Organics. And then napakadami kong bao na ito mask din. Lahat ng mga hydrating. And of course, my favorite hydrogel eye patches for my under eyes. And every time nasa bakasyon po yatan. And lastly, my easy peasy nipple covers that I'm definitely gonna use sa Bora Bora. Those are all of what I brought in my carry-on luggage. Those are all of the requirements that you will need if you travel here. Again, for US lang yun na, hindi ko alam kung ganun din for other countries. But I hope I answered all of your questions. And I will end the vlog here because it's now almost 6 o'clock and may isa pa akong vlog na gagawin. Yung haul ko. For the first 3 days ko, ano yung mga nabili ko, if you film ko na rin kasi tomorrow lilipad na kami to Bora Bora. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe and click the bell button para updated kayo on our next one. Bye!